Hey guys, welcome back everybody. Hope you all are doing great. Today, I have a real time OSPF lab. And let me ask you one very interesting and commonly asked network engineer interview question. Here you can see, I have a router R13 and this is the database of R13. So IP OSPF database, this is my command. Here you can see some router LSA in area 5. Right in area 5, we have two router LSA and some external LSA, type 5 LSA. Through type 5 LSA, you can see we are receiving these subnets 80.1.1.0 slash 24 to 80.1.5.0 coming from this ASBR 7.7.7, .7, right? And some prefixes 90, 90.1.1.0 to 90.1.5.0 0 coming from this ASBR uh, 4.4.4.4. And if you are a network engineer, then you must have heard a lot about this question that route is present in the database, but not in the routing table of OSPF. What can be the reason? And here you need to tell me the reason in comment section of this video, because same thing is happening here. You can see in the database. So IP OSPF database again, all the um, prefixes 80 and 90 prefixes are coming in form of LSA 5. And here are the advertiser order ID. But if I will show you the routing table of OSPF, so IP route OSPF, you can see the routing table. There is nothing, right? So why? Praful, can you show me the external LSA in detail? Yes, I can show you external LSA in detail as well. So IP OSPF database, external. So IP OSPF database, external. And let's say, sorry. So IP OSPF database external and 80.1.1.0 let's say right you can see the database in detail okay advertiser is 7.7.7 .7 and you can see the prefix is 80.1.1.0 and net mask is slash 24 forward address is 0.0.0 .0. matrix is 10 and matrix type is 1 right so this is the detailed information of uh, the route external route coming in form of lsa 5 but this router has not installed it in routing table can you tell me the reason in comment section why router 3 router 13 has not installed it in routing table what can be the reason here are the detailed information about this external lsa okay i will definitely check your answer in the comment section that's all for today and if you want to master these kinds of concept want to learn everything about enterprise network from the scratch from the zero then we are starting one program zero to hero program where we will teach you everything from basic to advance of enterprise network today's enterprise network the program name is ccna to ccie enterprise course Upcoming Monday, we are starting the course, right? You can check that course once. But before that, let me know your answer in the comment section of this question because this is very common question of network engineer interview. If you are the experienced one, experienced network engineer, you can expect these kinds of question in interview. This is advanced concept of OSPF. If you need a detailed video to answer this question, on the same channel pm networking you can again let me know in the comment section in case you don't know the answer right and last thing is if you are new on the channel if you have not subscribed this channel till now please subscribe this channel like the video and we'll meet soon in next video till then stay safe bye bye thank you